päivää, Rami. Päivää, päivää. Hyvää juhannusta. One of those games where you need to sleep all the time. <laughs> right, like in real life. So that's the temple we were. There were some people around this way. Yeah. There's a pirate or something. Only two, two guys are against us. Ovin got to kill this time. No, miten Järin uh, juhannus menee? How's, how's Järis uh, midsummer going on? Oh, it's poisoned. Damn, he has been diligent. What's this? Infamous by reputation. Starts out really well. The notorious strength potion had, had on several occasions disrupted proceedings of Lancer's tournaments. Expressive forbidden because it's unbalancing effects in combat. It, it still commanded high prices from the soldiers looking to advance their positions with the employing lords. Uh, okay, so... Steroids, basically. Mulla on kol viimeiset 30 vuotta ollut 365 päivää vuodessa, jotka on samanlaisia arvoisia, eli ei pokee normi viikonlopusta mitenkään. Se on ihan hyvä se. Okay, that's, that's the barn. Of that crazy, crazy guy. The eye rippled, as if the word about them were nothing more than a curtain to be yanked out aside, four figures warped into existence before their very eyes, are mortal and all armed. One of the assassins dressed in finer wear than the three now who flanked him bared his teeth as he spoke. Grath lachan kaeneka shoryu delekan bakailla ildrehel. Gorath looked like glanced questioningly at his Companion, fudging as the mortal withdrew his own weapon, his black, black cage fixed on the others of his kind, arrayed before them. Defend yourself, Kurat rasped coldly. No boss trooper this, but a sorcerer, Nago, of, uh, go, of those that are said to have served Delecan before the coming of the Six. He is known as the most powerful magician of my kind, only B3 or he and his will will see the next morn. Oh no, he's, he's casting spell. Damn.
that's that's re re really useful. Uh, amulet of upright man. This is actually improving the lock picking skills, so lock there can can keep it. I think I'm going to hold on to this unless I find a better weapon. So the certain circumstances might suggest otherwise this didn't feel like a chance encounter. This is Rose Barn. Do you think he had something to do with this attack? I think that bastard farmer set us up. He would be la best have been paid well for his betrayal. I'll take my recompense from his hide if I ever cross past with, with him again. I don't know if the, that guy is at the, at the road anymore. So one, two... Ah, oh, there, there were only two. <laughs> Ah, okay, more elves. Okay, ah, okay, they came came in with the with the force. Okay, please hit. Ah, what has got damage as well. He's making a huge pile of guys over, over there. So, ca casting totally from the health right now, but you could get blinded. Let's make, well, you make use of the greed. Okay, his escape didn't work out so well. Yeah, neither did his. Well, that that was like sort of end battle of the road. Nobody inside. Uh, Middle-aged woman met uh, Locklear at the door. Good day to you. He he began. The sentence hung. Unfist in the air. Come in, my aren't you fellows handsome? My name is Elizabeth. Are you married? <laughs> my sister Caroline is, is a lovely young girl, and I think she would be just perfect for you. Would you like to meet her? Well, never mind that for now. Come on, come in, come in. As for woman, drag them <laughs> into the house. Owen marveled at, at the way she seemed to be able to talk without even t taking a breath. My husband would agree if he, he was here. But he works at the Mercantile, you know. The store just down the road. Just pretty well for himself. That's why we have 
This house do. Uh, he had this house built so for me. Can you imagine? I used to help him at the shop, but now he insists I stay here all, all uh, day long. He isn't he just the sweetest man? After several more minutes that felt like hours, Locklear excused himself politely, and they head off for the door. The woman called after them as they left, but they did a Pretended not to hear. Ah, no. Okay, this is basically the same discussion than in last tavern. Yeah, Owen, Owen can't play. Abilities have increased. Hopefully it's parting. Yes, it's parting. Ah. Clark knocked the door. After a few moments, Dove-faced Dove -faced woman had answered, keeping on our breast behind the door in case her visitors were less than congenital. What is, it, what is it you want? Although she clearly was addressing Locklear, her guest dashed nervously to the model. I've had enough run-ins with the strangers of late. We are looking to get a bit of water per. Locklear started, but found out all the woman has slammed the door. Okay. Apparently, they don't like visitors, dark more. Yeah, over here. Temple of Ruth, yeah. Okay. That's the temple, all right. So we could actually teleport from here to any other temple we know. I think I never used this, not once. Okay, so I think we are around and we should uh, I'm looking for the temple we could actually Oh, enemies. Oh no. They are very black black, this is bad. And I didn't get the first shot. Hmm. 
I wonder if he had like those healing drinks. Okay, hit down. I think this wasn't as as good. Good thing, after all. Okay, he escaped. Damn. And we probably get get to know. Ouch. So I guess this is the, uh, this is the reason why you don't go this way at at this part of the game. Although Korat is pretty pretty tanky. Thank you, guy. Surprise, surprise. Oh, yeah. I, I remember, remember these guys. We could actually go and go to the crown door, which where we were heading. But then I started to make turns around. The path turned. After a few minutes of traveling, the roadbed began to slope towards the sea, leading eventually through the pair of iron gates into the magic seat of the principality. Krondor, Locklear said with a sigh, seemed to indicate both relief and concern. If assassin have been sent against that which seems a safe bet, they'll be lying in wait for the between here and the palace. What's your guess, Korat? Do we go in now or not? Let's go in. Cool spirit in the skies over the capital of the Western realm, weaving daring circles about the parapets of the palace, nar narrowly avoiding the British standards, which fluttered in their stealthy breeze. Below the city folk of Cor Crondor, two little notice. Majestic display as they heard it about their own affairs. Korak you noted know the market district in order. Why don't we just take all our possessions and give them away instead? The mockers are thick as porridge in there and the local merchants are hiked up prices accordingly. We're better off buying outside of the city. Okay. Let's sell everything we have in our store. I'm saving that sword. Touchstone gems. Okay, he's not buying that either. So capital and there's like two 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 shops. Virtue key, ring of the golden way. So basically, you can have a, actually a magical items, but you don't need to put them on or any, everything. This is just giving bonuses when it's on the, in the inventory, which is nice. Okay, so they are actually buying almost everything. And now we actually can can go back and continue our way to Eggly. Anything interesting here? No, nope, nothing of interest. Except 
the horse was not uh, in good repair. Darkin was covered parts of the door and was visible in several like large patches on the front slats. Locklear's attention returned uh, to the door as it slow, slowly swung open. A foam must smell filled the air as elder woman appeared on in the doorway. She was dressed in tattered shawl and four different shoe in its garment. Garnel food. You are one of the shadow people? I hate them shadow people, she cracked. Her look contained certain to pop, uh, turned to fear. They're everywhere, you know, could be sleeping in my door right now. The thought obviously terrified her, and without warning she disappeared in the house, slamming the door. Weird. There are lots of weird, weird, weird places in, uh, in this game. So they have like... I think we have enough money to buy a practice. In its, in its back practice, definitely. Farting 40, 43. He, he can play only one. Abilities have it increased. But the uh, defense. Okay, interesting. One guy is playing, another is getting practice to defense. The building appears to have been abandoned. I think we should take a shot opening up. Yes. Horn on Algon Cocoon. Reinforced with a bell and mouthpiece of brass, Korra struggled to imagine the beast from the which the horn had been harvested. While possible it had gone from a ma mature dragon, no man alive could dare fight some, such a creature. For so trivial a trophy. Passing to where the dog shapes guards in the horn. I think this was like... Get, get 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 help help for me kind of item. I think Owen should actually go and get it. Get. Okay, this is not this, this is still closed. You can go. Uh, apparently, you can get shop to any time of the day, but <laughs> you you can't go to the bar. What trap? Oh no. Uh, okay. Okay, only one needs to get through alive. A house. Uh, I wonder if there's a plague, enemies, or it's empty with the loot. The small house turns out was home to a slight, balding historian Kellen, who talked of the ancient Valheru and the relative decent cataclysm near Setanon, as he got there uh, some fresh water for the packs. The folks are interviewed, the ones living near Setanon. Say they thought the world was going to an end, like a fabric of heaven was being turned back upon itself, revealing another universe in the skies. They all talked about explosion, affairs of flying beasts circling in the sky. His face voice trailed off. I think uh, it may have something to do with the dragon lords who once for roamed freely on this world. Valheru, I mean. <laughs> 
Well, one day I'm going to figure it all out. Locklear Loth. <laughs> Locklear action. What, what this is all about. I'm sure we will be killing someday. And when you do, I like to read the book. In the meantime, thank you for the water. Goodbye. I think Locklear knows what, what this is all about. So there's like big meta plot in this in this universe. That's like yeah, it's it's going to be relieved. We are we are going to see it. The stranger. Locklear motioned the figure across the room. The man walked to over to join them. He stood before them, the eyebrows arched inquisitively. Devon, what can I do for you today? I believe it is the loneliest tavern I ever visited. Where is everyone? Everyone is elsewhere, with the exception of Rake, myself, and had full of orders that we wandered from off the road. There's not, not been another soul down since the festival. Everyone, why? What has happened here? Come the eighth hour of last evening, a cloaked gentleman entered through the same door there and took the seat. He ordered a joint of beef, loaf, and bread, and a mug of ale. I remember these things because I had ordered the same. Soon as he uh, fin had finished his meal, he went to the tavern keeper and tossed down fifty golden sovereigns. Turned around and was gone by the door. Before the first of those cones stopped there, spinning on the counter, the rest of the people in the tavern rushed out after him. The keeper didn't even latch the door. Some sort of deal? Nope. Some sort of damn local ritual. It seems I arrived in the middle of the ceremony that was called the Festival of the Stranger. Traditionally, the elders of the town would gather in at the tavern and draw the lots and the one with the longest lot was up the stranger. On the first night of the festival, that stranger comes around to you know, first the members of the town. Fake sovereigns, they call them the nim nimp tots, tos, nimp tos. And then the citizens are told nimp to sleep, sleep in the fields, of course. I wasn't aware of that, uh, what was going on. And they are supposed to stay in the fields. Uh, no, no, no. The next morning, the elected stranger is to circle the village three times while swinging a strand of hemp over his hemp head. When he is done, the, he cuts the length of the rope and sets the, uh, it on the road to let people know that they can come back. When they know that Killian is looking with good fortune on their township, that she won't strike their fields dead. If the strand is not placed, however, means that she has displeased and any citizen that attempts to return to town will be struck dead. Was the stranger killed by Killian? No, no, not Killian, but a man named Collector, to whom he owned money who didn't know about the town's, town's tradition. It didn't matter. The citizens of Eglito, though, they still choose to see it as a sign of Killian and they haven't returned since. I think the place is cursed and they uh, and won't return until the curse is lifted. They have been relocated to Tanner's, Hawks Hollow and a few in Malak's Cross. They all believe they have done the right thing, having given the permission to do whatever I wanted here, out of respect for them. I decided to keep the old town name of Egli. I don't believe that since people would have bit to be pretty thick to believe all that. Would they? Would you have nerd to spit on the shrine of Isap? No, but I guess I uh, can see your point. Everyone has their belief. Many people uh, in these villages at one time were farmers and it is difficult for them to simply turn their backs on the goddess of the nature. Uh, they, they require her blessing before they can go on to new lives. You sh should remember that before you judge somebody. Something to be ignorant. Soon as my New job as bartender of this tavern, I suppose it's my duty to see. If you need anything, can you uh, can I set you up? Which card did this uh, festival stranger was in celebrate for? The fertility card, the springer of the harvest, the earth mother Silban. Big, uh, big on name. All mean the same thing. She's the wench of whom Ma, Pa, Ugly Prey. 
to have a little round ugly and enough wheat to eat through the winter. I can't say I have much use for her. Is there a temple of hers nearby all? Straight west to Egli, then north at, uh, at the cross, crossroads. Big white building with the columns smells like wars. Bed chamber hard to miss. <laughs> Mercenaries. One of the brothers from the Abbey of Saad has seen several mercenaries on the move through the principality and he said that they look fake and with a quick fake and lime devonius. I was thinking you might know something about them. Haven't had anything to do with the uh, doubtness of Geek or her bastard father in law for over three years now. I burned the, my bridge of passage. Today is Pitzer and by boarded the Daphne's war galley, the Storm's master, and soon cakes. King uh, Lebeo's war flags, flagship with all hands on board. Since that day, I've been only working for me. me. Then you have no idea why there would be so many Americans wanting free in the kingdom. You don't get um, more than uh, three Quergen mercenaries together in one spot, unless you are paying them to be together, a small little island like that, most of them have killed or a member of another mercenary's family. Pay them well, they'll put their personal vendettas aside long enough to do what they ask for of them before they start on uh, one another. Whoever is funding them must have an incredible fortune of rupees or somewhere. Rupees? Is, uh, is less sovereigners won't buy uh, you a thing in a quick except a month underground? The king leveled span pain pens. Rubies, that's all they'll take. Buildings. I'm leaving them until I know what's going to be happen here. Never know when some folk is going to show up. I want property back. I don't want to be an idiot holding them back. If the most most of the folks were smart, they would probably lock their houses. And I'm not much of a lock pick. No anyone who is. Strength can character in a book. I can cross him when I was working toughness of Cassandra of Quake. We discovered him once we when we were boarded Cassian vessel after he helped open a few choice chests of Mason Tile. We changed him up in the belly of ship so we could make a present of the, him to Cassandra. But we we docked the, in Palanqui, we all we found in the hold was the ship was not saying uh, he could be found in Sliden if ever we needed his services. I've never heard of anyone say else for lockpicking being in jobs since. Spitzer. You met someone named Spitzer who brought the Storm Master with you. Was he a friend of yours? Is he still around? You know, uh, to be passing through, you ask a lot of questions. Just curious, I was wondering, maybe he would know about Quakians. He's got more reason to be afraid of King Lebus than I do. He's avoid Quakians like a plague. Now, if you want to play dice with him, I'm sure he's uh, plenty happy to talk to you. He was in Tanner's last I heard. This is cheap in actually. So, tanners use it. Okay, so he's, he's south. Ah, uh, uh, that's a bitch. Anyway. And he missed. Because why not?
Okay, <laughs> now he's open is frozen. Uh, this is not going well. Eighty-two percent, and he okay. Wizard escaped. Kind of seeing the writing on the wall. Ah, there's like some kind of cave, by the way. A messenger went to find the high priestess in a few moments. A tall, broad woman limped from the un under of the arches. Her long grey hair hanging in blank around her face as the plump woman turned out at her uh, side for support. When Lord Clara hired them, them to show the woman real angrily, the high priestess has been through a triple ceremony. She has no time for Belandra, yet the high priestess jerk run her arm from her assistant grabs, silencing her with a cold stare. I am ne neither so old nor so ill uh, in the goddess favor that I cannot spare a moment to speak with this gentleman. If you were to remember the spirit of our catechisms, more often there later I think you may, might replace me. Someday our plus is in service to both uh, the Earth Mother and those who worship her, remember. Locally our boat, he said, that's very generous of you, High Priestess, but uh, if another time would be more convenient. The old woman chuckled uh, darkly, speak noble one. Sensing that uh, that privity was his best interest, he quickly related the things Devon had told him during their visit in the stranger tavern in Egli. When the, at, at last he had finished, the grave expression was on the Kai priest's face. There's no curse upon the town whether this man Devon might have told you, she said, but we share fault in this. The ritual uh, of the festival was never was intended like this. And now it has brought shame on this temple and misery upon the faithful in Egli. Never no more shall there be a festival. Belanda Casp, High Priestess, the festival, silence child, she said. Turning her clear to Locklear, I will also see this collector brought to justice. If you can find him, send him to us with the word that we have reward <laughs> to give him. I will see you very well remunerated uh, for your efforts. Collector, uh, Cortes blessing on you. Turning the high priest moved across the courtyard, flowing quickly uh, after by her plump um, assistant. All oh, right, that's 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 okay. Fine place. That's a tavern. Tom's Tavern, this is the place. Oclair stranded, stranded, strained to hear, standing near the entrance, bits of conversation coming from the table nearby. To fight their way through the. managing to fight their way through the other notches in the tavern. Fools from Egli, he heard. Then other men said in hush. He was looking for Stella and something about unpaid debts, but the voices dipped up beneath the surface of noise and Lockler could hear no more. Uh, they joined a shifty eyed man. No games right now, fellas. I owe some money to Apple Oak in the back room, and I don't think he would absolutely be giving you in a game a chance. Noticing that man seemed a little nervous, said, uh, Lockler said, who's this person you owe money? He's gone, but the folks around here as a collector. He lowered his voice until it was barely more than a whisper. They said he killed a fellow over Egli called Stefan. Stellan. Well, per perhaps we can find a game with you another day. So, alright, so I can get food from here, but only days rations for some reason.
Okay, so there's a collector in the back room. In. A sleepy man pushed them aside, blinking, uh, but unable to get one eye completely open. The man stumbled uh, to a bedroll to a corner of the room and laid down. A youth, the man known as the collector, said Locklear. He sat up crumply, crumply and finally managing to get both eyes open, responded, What if I am? It would appear you have a debt that hasn't been paid by you by the acolyte of at the temple of Silban. He we, we just, you just thought we, you should know. A glimmer of creed appeared in the mind's eyes. Suddenly more awake now, he said in a somewhat cheer, cheerful voice, Thank you, I shall pay him a visit now uh, on the tomorrow. Mission servant to the high priests. In a few moments, she appeared, her grey hair floating behind you as she greeted her quests. On behalf of the Ed Mother, me, thank you, she said. The man called himself in the collect The collector is now in our custody. What will become of him? Claire asked. He will learn what it means to enter a bondage. She replied. After, if, it, if, he, if he still lives, we will see that he is really happy at it. Uh, Rehab, rehabilitated. Uh, Locklear's word shivered as he contemplated the future that likely lay ahead of, for the criminal. In few instances he had seen the convicted Herrick bodies in, he had been forced to avert his eyes. He hastened and he cleared his throat. I believe this was some mention of a reward. The priestess noticed, I have arranged for a few healing potions to be given you as well as some small gold. You will have to uh, them before you leave the temple. I must leave you now, beginning dispensing justice on this collector. God bless blessing on you. Nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, it's going to be okay. okay. This is, this is one day one. Yeah, three ra rations. Calling out to the gate master Angley, he brought the hilt of his sword against the portcullis. Stirred by the racket, the young man, liberated in the colors of Crondonian lancers, thrown out of his watch house and squinted at them, Sap, uh, snapping up his bardiche, which leaned against the in interior wall. Would you like to get this open gate open, please? Locklear said. We have business with the prince. Can't help you, senior. The guard replied. The gate mechanism is broken has been since three nights ago, so unless you and companions have mind of climbing the walls, there won't be any uh, getting through here. I think we can find the plans for the port calls. The uh, castle engineer is absolutely livid. Locklear accepted the news with irritation, but no, that nothing uh, that could be done. Could you uh, go and get Prince Arutna for me then? It's rather urgent matter. Again, the guard quartz shook his head. His meeting with the bug of Stardog and some Surani fellow named Makala gave explicit instructions he wasn't to, to be disturbed unless the castle was burning down around the ears. Could you at least get find Senor James? The guard cut him off with a shake of his shaggy head. He's uh, been missing for two days. No one knows quite where he is off to, but you know, you know how James can be. Lockland nodded. All too well, my pump of trouble tells he's looking for the whoever sabotaged the gate. Sabotage? The clerk looked puzzled, as if the thought hadn't occurred to me. Why would anyone do that? I'm not too sure, but if the thought occurs to me, I, I can guarantee that it has occurred to Signor James. Resheating his sword, Locklear bid the guard farewell and motioned his companions to follow him. 
I have a feeling that the only way to solve both of our problems is go by going through the sewers that lead beneath the city, Locklear whispered, uh, hurrying them to the northern gate. There's a secret passage that will lead us in the palace, and I also su suspect that we might bump into Signor James down the, uh, there as well. Super. Locklear led the way down. Twice he nearly lost his footing on the treacherous climb, but at last they arrived safely the precip of rock below the northern gate. Locklear pulled the door open. Immediately he was overwhelmed by the stench of the sewers and he looked back to open for his advice. It smells awful down there. He said, are you sure you are ready to go in? figure moved in the tunnel, ceiling hub having appeared from nowhere. A young boy halted them before they could move any further ahead. Lee. Who be you and what you would you do in would you in the thief's highway? I'll be Signir Lugner and I do whatever I will in the prince servers. If you you are half as intelligent as you seem, then I would advise you to step out of the way. Fast with the play I am, step any further and I'll do you, I will. The only thing I you will do, my young friend, is to die an unfortunate death on the point of my sword. I used to spar with the Jimmy the hand, and I'm faster played than he. Do you wish, still wish to cross me? Jimmy the Hand, his legend, sire. Next, you'll be telling me you have lain with the Emperor's luggage of Gesh. Uh, I don't remember Locklear doing that, but it's it's in the realm of possibilities. I'd, I'd advise you to be nice like however, of course. I got five blokes waiting at Little Down to make sure nothing happens to me. See, I don't suppose you have come behalf of Signor James, have you? Signor James, then you don't well perhaps we have all right then down to tax if he didn't send, send you you'll be answering to the upright man and not me so I wash my hands of it just was watch your steps down here as there's a bit of trouble going on down here good day wait we don't know our way out around down here look like do I look <laughs> I look like a party page do you I've got the affair of me on if what's got to do. Just answer a few questions. Right then. So long as you don't ask me anything that might get me in the hot with the Nightmaster. What do you want to know? You wouldn't happen to have, have an extra set of big locks laying about with you. Uh, could be, I would. Uh, that would depend on what you have to offer me now, wouldn't it? How about Royal Patron Pardon in the next time you end up in the hands of the city guard? Oh, that would be very nice. How about Prince Palace while you're about it? I would have cockle head and three pence sword to buy on it, fifth like you just told. Uh, no quicker than you are out of highway and you would be ha have forgotten it in a mocker minute. You'll have to do better. How about gold? Well, that's a language. 25 gold sovereigns, take it or leave it. Yes. Deal. I'll hand over the money before we leave. Then you will not mind me handing over a big locks until I have the money. Will you? That's fair, isn't it? <laughs> so apparently game design is that important and PCs are waiting at the start of the dungeon. Now I noticed that this has actually different uh, textures for the for the dungeon than uh, the uh, 
previous previous dungeon head. Okay, that's something there. I don't think Crow did uh, Crow and Trees in this game, so. Oh. DM. Party's abilities have increased. Okay, some special arrows. Two runny quarrels. Two runny quarrel was long, very near, nearly the length of the man's forearm, twice the heavier than standardized mid chemia varieties. Twin parfs sweat back. From its laminate point and were meant to worry victims' wounds, including bleeding and eventually death. So these are uh, not as accurate. But make make better better damage. And these definitely do take some space. Something whistled. Turning around, Lokra felt a sto so stone sink in his gullet, fearing that they had left themselves open to attack by yet another band of nighthawks. To his great surprise, however, a family of friends stepped from the shadows. By the 12 cards, Locklear, your hair. <laughs> I think he's, he was like blonde in, in books or something. It's just like you, Jimmy. Have, I haven't seen you in seven months, and then I rescued you from the band of Nighthawks, and the first thing you want to talk about is my bloody hair. Change of hair color. What is going on around here? The front gate is smashed, and uh, there are Nighthawks loose in the sewers. Not Nighthawks, imposters. Someone has been trying to convince Prince Arthur that the guilt of death has re-established operations here in Grondor and is using the sewers as a hideout, hoping that the Lancers will come down and clean clean out the place. I'm doing so. In doing so, I think Hover is running this game. Hopes that Lancers will root out the mockers while they are at it. But take out the guilt of these doesn't seem likely from all things you have told me through your days as a mocker more to the point we know that a few of the nighthawks escaped from me when we smashed them up after that affair with princess anita telling telling, uh, telling about the uh, poisoning of princess anita silver thorn 
uh, take certainly won't dare threat Condor streets for while yet. I have been tracking around uh, down here trying to find out more when I ran into those fellows. So why have you come back so soon, Condor Loki? I thought you were going to be gone for four months or so. Uh, I've got bad news from the Northlands. Looks like Dark Brothers are stirring again. They raised Murmandanus battle standards uh, over Sarsagoth. And there's Mordor army gathering to attack the kingdom. This Mordor used to be one of their clan chieftains, something of a hero during the Rift War. Against Turani too, I thought Prince Aruta would be interested talking to him. I don't like this Loki. Uh, the Mordor stirring uh, again in the north and some must mimic in the guild of death. My pump trouble says that things are going to get far worse before they get better. I assume since you are down here that you are doing to, trying to get to the blast the way I showed you a few years ago. Yes, I was thinking I would have to pry off the crate somehow, but if you have key, uh, it would save some, uh, save me a great deal of trouble. Still on me. It's all yours. I can find my way into the palace. I'm going to creep around while longer down here and see if I can unravel this particular mystery. Suit yourself. I, for one, I'm anxious to get out of this hole. Come and get me for breakfast tomorrow after I've spoken to Prince Arutha. So now we, now we got the, 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 the key.